CPO.com, a closer look at the plan to ultimately end brownouts in Cincinnati, plus a poll asking for your opinion on the plan. So far, most of you are saying it's about time. Tonight, investigators are trying to determine what started a fire that killed an elderly homeowner in Fort Thomas. Not on your side, reporter Shannon Keller shows us the challenges firefighters faced in finding that victim. This is what Fort Thomas firefighters faced heavy smoke and fire after arriving at the single family home on Tower Hill Drive just after 2 30 this morning. The house was just ablaze, it was huge into the sky. Home video captures popping sounds, which firefighters say was ammunition inside the home. Neighbors called 911 after seeing the orange glow. And when I uh, opened that shade up and I looked out, it was one of the windows just a fireball blew out of one of his windows in the front of his house. So it had to be going for probably 10 or 15 minutes before it. Before I even woke up. Neighbors say the elderly man lived here alone for more than 30 years and kept mostly to himself. We've lived here for a really long time and he's, I've probably talked to him maybe four times. And he's just very, very quiet. Firefighters brought in a backhoe to help move the debris since part of the home collapsed into the basement. By daybreak, they found the homeowner in the back bedroom. Kentucky has seen a large number of fire fatalities already in 2014. Uh, we want to make sure that people check smoke detectors, uh, and, but in addition to smoke detectors, when you hear a smoke detector going off, respond to it. Don't ignore it. As for this fire, tonight investigators are still trying to determine the cause. In Fort Thomas, Shannon Kettler, 9 on your side. And this just in, firefighters have now identified the victim as 80-year-old Calvin Bringman. He will stay on, we will stay on top of this fire investigation and bring you more information as we get it.